ladies and gentlemen, imagine working your entire life to achieve the goal of becoming a police officer. One day, that could be you or me achieving this honorable role in serving those around you. Becoming one, however, takes hard work and dedication. According to Arizona Post standards, one must take specific steps to qualify. These steps are what will lead you to a life of success caring for those around you. From education to application, and finally onto graduation from the academy, whatever path you may follow, it will end with success. There are chapters to this journey that need to be taken in order to become a police officer, and it all starts with the basics. To qualify, it starts with education and age. According to the Arizona Administration Code, one must have obtained a high school diploma, GED, or equivalent to begin this application process. Of course, more education is valued, such as obtaining an associate's degree or bachelor's degree in a specific field. One can go back to college with an allowance set aside for officers later in the career if they choose to do so. Moreover, a degree ensures you can rank up later in your career and have the possibility of earning more money. More knowledge ensures you are ready for what the job hands you. When discussing education, it is also important to bring up age. Upon applying, one must be at least 20 and a half years old and 21 upon graduation. Certain jobs require an age limit to ensure the applicant is ready mentally and physically forever may happen, whatever the job may throw at them. Moreover, besides age and education standards, other tests must be conducted before being accepted into the academy. According to Ellen Scribner, who has a PhD in law, upon applying, one must pass a variety of boards determining eligibility for the job. These boards will determine that the According to Scribner, hiring include law enforcement looking like the communities they serve and getting the right people into the job while avoiding attracting the wrong people, particularly those who abuse authority. By taking various tests, such as a polygraph, a physical, a written and oral board, they will scope out the candidates ready for the position. This process is long and demanding and may even take up to six months to complete. But once one passes, they'll be given the start date for the academy and everything will start falling into place. Many departments, however, do provide jobs to cadets as they wait for their start. Jobs can include working in evidence or even communications. Now, once everyone has cleared all the tests, one will then receive a start date for their class and begin training. Preparing for life in the academy can be daunting as you wait for the unknown. But having comfort that this academy prepares you for the real thing can cure this uncertainty. The academy is a rigorous 585 hour or roughly six month training course. According to the Arizona Peace Officer Standards and Training Board Basic Training Curriculum, cadets will cover a multitude of topics ranging from gun safety, hot pursuits, vehicle operations, and more. During this training program, it is also important to understand what needs to happen in order to pass. Each lesson is split into different boards, and each board must be passed with a 70% or better. Failure to do so could result in termination or even a late graduation date. Again, it is important to understand the importance of this training and that it doesn't end as soon as you graduate. Training is a lifelong process and routine that officers need to follow. As time goes on and as technology changes, training protocols or safety standards change. Remembering what you have been taught and what you will be taught are what will make you a successful officer and ensure the safety of yourself and those around you. Overall, by becoming a police officer, one can achieve great things through education, applying to the academy, and graduating from the academy, one can understand just what it takes to become a police officer. Becoming an officer is no easy task, but you can with hard work and dedication. One day, you will look back and thank yourself for all the work you put into your dreams and fully understand 
what it means to be an officer of the law. Thank you.